I never really knew that an iced coffee versus a cold brew were gonna be different things, you know? So I go to Starbucks because like I look on their menu looking up the caffeine milligrams, right? Because their iced coffee isn't really getting me like it used to get me. I think I made videos about that already. But anyway, so I went and I asked them, I'm like, okay, is a cold brew any different than an iced coffee? Because I usually get an iced coffee and they're like, yeah, it's different. We steep these beans for like 20 hours. So you're gonna really, you know, taste that, or not taste it, but feel that caffeine, that kick, you know? And I'm like, ah. And apparently the iced coffee is just black coffee or hot coffee poured over ice. And I was like, what? Because I've always been a cold brew girl. I've always been a cold brew girl. But I call it iced coffee. I never really knew. I just thought it was like, you know? Because I've tried iced coffee at home and my iced coffee be watery. I don't like hot coffee poured over ice. At home at least. Um, but maybe if you got a, a, cause my Keurig, you know, I wanted the Keurig with, with the iced coffee, um, capabilities, but, uh, I haven't, I haven't gotten that yet. So anyway, apparently, yeah. And you can definitely taste, taste the difference. It's, it's like super strong. So hopefully this does something for me. Yes. I didn't, I didn't know it could get any stronger than Starbucks iced coffee. Cause that, that ish is strong. This cold brew, definitely more of a, mm, yeah. I like it though, I like the bitter. I like tasting the the bitterness, it just wakes me up. So, 